Howdy folks, Deacon Parsons here. Today I'm going to read to you the Aesop's fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Now Aesop, if he existed at all, is thought to be a storytelling slave in Greece between 620 B.C. and 564 B.C. Aesop's fables weren't written down until about 300 years after his death. They've been used for the education of children throughout the centuries, first in the Mediterranean and then throughout uh, all of Europe. They were basic morality tales that were common Western knowledge for about 2,000 years. Now I'm reading this today because apparently about 40 or 50 years ago people quit reading these to their children. Now we have a couple of generations who have missed these fundamental foundational concepts of Western civilization. There was once a young shepherd boy who tended his sheep at the foot of a mountain near a dark forest. It was rather lonely for him all day, so he thought upon a plan by which he could get a little company and some excitement. He rushed down towards the village, crying out, Wolf! Wolf! And the villagers came out to meet him, and some of them stopped with him for a considerable time. This pleased the boy so much that a few days afterwards he tried the same trick, and again the villagers came to his aid. But shortly after this, a wolf actually did come out of the deep, dark forest and began to worry the sheep. And the boy, of course, cried out, Wolf! Wolf! Still louder than before. But this time, the villagers, who had been fooled twice before, thought the boy was again deceiving them, and nobody stirred to come to his aid. So the wolf made a good meal off of the boy's flock, and then the boy complained. And the wise man of the village said, A liar will not be believed even when he speaks the truth. The lesson of this tale is very simple. If you consistently lie, people will quit believing you. They won't care what you say even if you happen to speak the truth. It's called losing credibility. To all you feminists and other social justice warriors out there, you've lost any and all credibility. When you started out with this political correctness thing, it was kind of cute. Then it became entertaining to watch you guys go through your machinations. Then it became a bit annoying. Then it became detrimental to honest public discourse. As soon as you found out that the electric mob could dox people get them swatted or fired, you became drunk with power. You crossed over from sticks and stones name calling into real world injury to individuals. Still drunk on power, you orchestrated criminally negligent harm to whole nations by insisting that Europe commit cultural suicide and take in massive numbers of barbarians who cannot and will not be assimilated. When your latest spawn, Black Lives Matter, pillaged, looted, and burned down cities, you were silent. When BLM chanted and marched in favor of randomly killing police officers, you were silent. When BLM supporters started to randomly assassinate police, you were silent. You have failed your part of the social contract. You are not peaceful dissenters exercising free speech to espouse a point of view. You are a criminal syndicate organized to exercise raw power and profit off of destruction. According to you, because I'm male, I must be a misogynist. I don't care. The word misogynist has no meaning. Because I'm white, I have to be a racist. I don't care anymore. The word racist no longer has meaning. You have obliterated its meaning by overusing it. Because I'm heterosexual, I must be homophobic. Again, 
I don't care. The word homophobic has no meaning. Because I am able, old, or cis, etc., 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 I must be yada, 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 and I just don't care anymore. I don't care about what you say. You have destroyed any credibility you and your causes may have once had. You demand respect that you refuse to show. You demand attention that you do not deserve and you demand money, power, privilege, and place that you do not earn. You are cry bullies using people's goodwill and inherent civility against them. The only privilege I can see that I actually have is my privilege to put up with your childishness and pay your bills. But that is at an end. I and millions like me are done with you. You cannot have any more of my time, of my money, or my attention. You can no longer count on me affording you the presumption of being a civilized person. You are no longer just entitled, petulant children. You have hurt people. Honest, civilized discourse is impossible with you. You have enabled and sided with savages. You have earned being considered savages yourselves. If you come at me as if to assault or batter me, I can only assume the worst of your intent. Don't count on my good nature and peaceful disposition to protect you. I will defend myself appropriately. It will not end well for you. Break out your Aesop's or other ancient text appropriate to our culture and bone up on how to behave in a civilized society. Or don't. I really don't care anymore. In 1982, Phil Collins released a song that expresses this thing perfectly. There'll be a link in the low bar. If this rant suits your pistol and you're so inclined, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Deacon Parsons saying, love your maker, love your mate, and do what's right because it's right, and devil take the hindmost.